Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Often. I lay with many men. I killed some of them. You would kill them even though you know they are innocent? I could blow your brains out now and never think of you again. I'm a soldier, just like you. Well, perhaps we're not quite the same, but we all have to exploit our natural talent. You know, I made you into the greatest thief this city has ever seen. I invested a lot of time and a lot of money into you, and you ran away from me, and you hid behind the cotton skirts. And a notion of a personal life ended the day I picked you out of the gutter and made you my creature. What is your connection with the cardinal? I have to make a living somehow. I do everything for you. Permit me to doubt that. You were seen. Yet again, you are careless. I've been working tirelessly to further your aims. Effort is of no use to me in results. In the world's eyes, I've done terrible, unforgivable things. I had no choice. Why did God abandon me? Why didn't he answer my prayers? Can you tell me that? You are a child. This woman is a liar! She is not evil who she claims to be! She is a liar. And a murderer. This is your doing. Not mine. And she is my wife. Bow your heads. You're in the presence of a great artist. Well, you may have slightly nicer clothes, but underneath them there still has that whiff of the cheap little thief that I once knew. You are an abomination! I know what I am. You don't understand. I'm not looking for absolution. I want revenge. You know there can be no peace for either of us. Until we are both dead. The kingdom of heaven is a dream. Our only life is here. You still wear my locket. Stop this, Anne. You've hurt enough people. You dare to talk to me about hurt. I loved him once. I was born poor. I was a thief and a pickpocket. But everything changed when I married Athos. I swear that nothing will ever come between us. I lied about my past. I swear. It's to protect our happiness. But his brother, Thomas, he tried to force me. I killed him. And I did it for love. Athos was blind to the truth. As he discovered I was once a thief, he decided I must also be a murderer. He was a fool and a hypocrite. He deserved to die. I thought you would understand that. She was a cold-blooded murderer, so I had her taken from the house and hung from the branch of a tree. This is what he did. To preserve his honor and status. I watched you hang. You didn't watch, did you? You couldn't stay to see your beloved wife choking on the end of a rope. Go ahead. Finish what you started. The murders are on my head. It is you who should be on your knees. Now kill me, and do a better job of it than last time. I thought I would feel something more than this. This emptiness.